is the president of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. We have plenty of questions for you, starting with this one. You've called Ethiopia an enemy. You have recalled your ambassador in Ethiopia. You have ruled out mediation with Addis unless they pull the plug on this deal. So how do you expect this crisis to be resolved then? Well, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me here. And uh, then uh, it was not Somalia who created this problem. Ethiopia has created this problem. They are the ones who initiated claiming that they will take and annex part of Somalia to their country. And but they don't say they're annexing. Well, they say it's a commercial deal. No, no, it is not. The, uh, Ethiopia has uh, commercial interests in Somalia. They are in Berbera. They use Berbera port and they have a stake of 19% even in the ownership of the of service of Berbera. And the place where they are now saying is just a few kilometers away, a few, few, uh, few hundred kilometers away from Berbera. There is no need for that. Whatever it is, let us assume that they need another port. And this is what we have been discussing for a couple of months ago. The issue is not, will Ethiopia access to the sea? They are free to access throughout Somalia. Where? In everywhere in Somalia. But the question is how? How do they want to access the sea? By annexing a part of Somalia and changing the borders of Somalia? This is what's going on right now. It is not a commercial. It is an annexation of territory. So as you know, Ethiopia says it's not annexation. They say it's also not a formal recognition of the sovereignty of Somaliland. They say it is a commercial deal. And I just want to remind our viewers of what this potential deal is. Mm -hmm. The memorandum of understanding between Ethiopia and Somaliland is that they would rent a 20-kilometer stretch of coastline in Somaliland for half a century, for 50 years, for commercial purposes and for a military port as well. What is the part of that that's, that, that angers Somalia? First of all, Somalia is an independent and sovereign state. When such deals are taking place, it is the federal government of Somalia who has a legitimate right, this thing to be discussed, not a breakaway or not a region of Somalia at all. And above all, a commercial and military base mix it together and doing one thing, uh, that's one. The other thing, if it is a, a 20 kilometer strip of land in the coast only, how that strip of land and how that port is going to be connected to Ethiopia by passing through Somalia, that's another one. The other one, it is in public domain. Ethiopia said we do this in exchange of recognition. We recognize Somaliland. That's a public and that's official. And they, said, they didn't say it only one time. The, the Prime Minister said, the Minister of Foreign Affairs said, the National Security Advisor said, many other leaders in Ethiopia said. So the recognition is there. But they, I'm sorry, but they have walked that all the way back, Somalia has. They have said this is not an official recognition of the sovereignty of Somaliland. Uh, we don't have that yet. It's you who have that. No, they put it on, no, they put it on Twitter. No, the Twitter is not the way to communicate between states. Have, have you they, spoken to the Ethiopian Prime Minister? Then? No. Why not? Why do I speak? Because he's taking part of my country and he's claiming we are not equal partners. When he said, I do not recognize Somalia, I recognize Somaliland, which was part of Somalia. Who am I talking to? He's talking to Somaliland. How does this get resolved if there's no communication between you and Ethiopia? He has to. You know, Somalia has not initiated this problem. It's Ethiopia has initiated. It is in their, the poll is in their court. They have to open the means of the conducive environment to, to communicate and to negotiate and to dialogue. It is up to them. It's not us. So what do you say to Ethiopia? I would like to say, Ethiopia, we are neighbors. We are not neighbors by choice. We have a history, long, long history, known. And uh, this thing has not happened in the last uh, more than 1,000 years that Somalia and Ethiopia was living together as people. We have a... Uh, some difficult histories, but I'm not going back to that history, which is difficult. But now, in the 21st century, let the Ethiopia recognize the sovereignty, the territorial integrity, and the political independence of Somalia, the Federal Republic of Somalia. Then we are two partners. We can negotiate everything. Ethiopia can have access. They can have deals with us, everything. But not the way they are uh, approaching now. That, that's not the way the modern world works.